Hey squaddies and welcome to Thriving with the Sussexes. My name is Deanna and I'm here to report on all things Sussex. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Now let's get on with it. Hey squaddies, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Whenever you're listening, hello. Be sure to check out memberships. You can join if you're interested. And just like with all my information, I'll put it in the description box. Thanks. And a huge shout out to L. Brown and Fran Cotty on the $4.99 Super Thanks. I appreciate both your generosities and may all your days be full with blue skies, sunshines with positive vibes. Prince Harry's next big appearance following the successful book release announced. And it's alongside Issa Rae. Prince Harry's first appearance since the global release of his highly successful memoir, Spare, will be held on March, according to Better Up, who made the announcement Thursday. The Duke of Sussex will be speaking at the coach and mental health company's upcoming Uplift Summit in San Francisco on March 7th and March 8th. He'll join Issa Rae, David Chang, Robert Arzon, Adam Grant, and more to discuss purpose, performance, and human transformation, better have said in a statement. Prince Harry has served as the Chief Impact Officer for the coaching platform since March 2021, taking on the job after stepping back from his senior royal role and relocating to California with his wife, Princess Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. The Duke of Sussex's appearance at the two-day summit is his first work outing after Spare was released on January 10th. Prince Harry wrote openly about his mental health throughout the text, reflecting on the tragic death of his mother, Princess Diana, his military service in Afghanistan, and attending therapy in adulthood. And in other news, where's Megan? Hmm, I have an answer for that. She's minding her own business and living her best life. Yes. Thank you. And that's best to make it is. But we'll talk more about that after eavesdropping on what these Wolf of Royals are talking about. How does Harold get to wine and dine with the celebrities? Well, I have to sit here with you. There's a time in your life when you used to like to be alone with me. Whenever I was drunk. Your boldness certainly is an eternal. What in a bloody hell? I should be used to you two in my office. But why are you two in my office? It's a good advice. What? We recently visited some random food bank and received backlash from the public about showing up empty handed. As if our presence alone isn't good enough for those ungrateful peasants. Why are you asking me? Why not your yank? Oh, him. Hold on. I'll shock all them. Jason, come to Paul's office. I need... Here I am, Your Royal Highness. Were you always outside my door? Oh, no. My apologies, Your, your Majesty. Jason, you saw that disaster was a visit to the random food bank. Yes. Then how do we prevent it from ever happening again? Cause playing Harry and Meghan is harder than you thought. Mm -hmm. Oh, shut up. Well, the king has a point. And I will go even further to say that Harry and Meghan bring more than themselves in these places. They bring actual food and financial funds. Like donating free food and money to these peasants. Well, yes, it's called charity. And what makes them so deserving of all money and food? Well, there's a crisis going on right now and many people are struggling. Others can even barely pay for their own light bills or even putting one meal of food on the table. And what does that have to do with me? My God, Willie. What this boy is trying to tell you is that while visiting a food bank, in sheer decency, you should at least bring in some food as well. I would not do that. Harry and Meghan not only brings in food and money, but they also spend time with the volunteers. In fact, 
They volunteer in preparation on all occasions. Dirtying of my hands for peasants? Do you think I'm mad? Who raised you? Because it certainly wasn't me. You're damn right it wasn't you, and I refuse to give anything to these leashes. Kate, do you see this? <laughs> uh, must be the gene and tonics. So a simple show of support while smiling and waving isn't enough for these subjects? Then let them starve. And I thought I was the selfish bastard. When I'm king, I will shut down all the food banks. Then you will laugh our monarchy into hell. Not if I make some arrangements with Parliament. Do you need medical attention? You sound unwell. No, you're unwell, old man. This entire country is unwell with people who aren't like us. Poor and smell of illnesses. Piss is the first thing that came to mind when I got out of that car outside that disgusting, ugh, dreadful food bank. It's usually Kate and her heavy drinking. I'd rather be drunk. I'd rather be drunk than bored. But your Majesty, we can hire people to cook for you and pretend you did it. We've tried that with Kate and her filled baking skills. Tampon, baby. Look at what I have. Tampon tea bags. Oh. I thought you weren't taking any meetings today. They've invited themselves over. Have you heard that Octrell is doing quite well? Yes, they've hired more into their fold. Whoop de doo. William, you ever thought of starting your own foundation? Are you trying to rub it in? <laughs> Why am I going to do that when I'm going to be king in less than a decade? Herod is also chief impact officer of a multi-billion dollar company. I don't want to hear any more about him. He's stolen my dreams and my life. He's supposed to be the unhappy bloke while I live a life many men want. You blame Harry for being an unhappy bloke? You should be blaming his wife, Megan. Ah! Uh, Kate? Oh God. I had a nightmare that Megan was crowned the Queen of England. Bloody woman. Though if I met her first, then she would have been mine and not Harold's. I don't see a girl like Megan ever accepting your advances. Just because you weren't able to win over that disco singer. Sheila Ferguson. Yeah, Sheila Ferguson. Just because you weren't able to snag her up doesn't mean I'll suffer the same fate with snagging Megan. Harry's the lucky bastard, the ginger. Who would have thought a ginger would snag a woman like that? Look at them. Talking about other women in all presents. Eh, it comes with the lifestyle. Huh, she'll be lucky enough to have me. All Harry can do for her is... Have her marry him, move her as her completely different continent, in one of the wealthiest and most beautiful neighborhoods in America. Am I right? Get out of my presence. Y yes Your Majesty. I I I'm sorry. Doesn't anybody care about my nightmare and me, me, me looking to the next queen? Just the thought of my perfectly manicured hands touching a plate of ungrateful, dirty peasants. Stop ignoring me, you bullheaded eraser. Oh, go find Andrew a drink with him in a bathtub. For once, I agree with you, Willie. All of you, out of my office, at once. And in other news about Megan, where is Megan? She is out there minding her business and living her best life. Our girl is way too busy to be thinking about what some creepy, obsessed haters think about her think about her whereabouts as well as the money hungry uk press like and have you noticed a lot more trolls in the comment section like as, like more than usual they've always been there but it seems like that they're just looking for megan and they're and they all have to be coming to the sussex friendly channels because like i had, I had to i had to delete like almost 30 different bots yesterday and i was just like what is going on like these people, like they are just so creepy and just so desperate in search of Megan. <laughs> like, uh, she has a husband. Um, 
she doesn't need to give you every detail regarding her whereabouts like just calm down <laughs> like i said just go take care of yourself maybe maybe that's that's the problem you just can't take care of yourself you know get a makeover you get your hair done put on some moisturizer drink some water or herbal tea meditate like just just do something <laughs> exercise anything like that's probably your problem you know i mean i would say something else on here but i don't i don't know if that's appropriate to say i mean megan's getting plenty of it for her husband but maybe that's what they're lacking i don't know that's all for this podcast i like to thank you all so much and may your days be filled with blue skies sun shines with positive vibes i like to thank you for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and hit that bell also join a membership i have the link inside the description box my name is deanna and you are watching thriving with the substances talk to you soon